as of right now, I just have Gray, the Dynaco Hauler, as a cab. Hopefully someday soon he'll get a re-release as a full hauler so that I could pick him up and add him to my collection. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gray Cab suggested by... Thank you so much for your suggestion, as always. And if you guys want to suggest a car for me to review, you can do so in the comments. Any car from any of the movies, I really don't mind. And, uh, yeah, let's get started with the review. Here you can see he's got a big uh, grin, pretty relaxed. Danico on his hat there, his grill, headlights. And you can see this guy's just coated in dust and scrapes. He's been on my shelf for quite a long time without moving. Sadly, his mirrors have fallen off. Danico logo there on the side. His wheels and everything. Then on the back, his license plate reads RG833 with axle bend, or yeah, axle bend or send, I'd assume it would be axle bend above it. So cool that with his new camera, I could record, I could uh, finally see what's above license plate. Dynaco on the mud flaps, so really nice detail. And of course, the exhaust pipes here. For some weird reason, the tip of one of mine has fallen off. Don't know what happened there. There's well, some wires behind there. And, of course, the area for him to be hooked up to other haulers. Now, if this were released nowadays, there's a base, so you know. Back half plastic, front half metal. If it were released nowadays, the back portion would be covered off. This area would be covered off so you couldn't attach him to haulers, which is really kind of annoying. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye now.